Good job. There you go, well done. Good boy. Good boy. That's a pile of shit. Baby, you cannot just stand still in the middle of the road. That's just not done. You got this, I know, that's so scary, a pile of shit. Good job, babes. Oh, you're cute, go on. Good boy. Good boy, well done. No, don't back up, 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 forward. Good job, good boy. Go on. Now that's a woman with a dog. No, 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 no. Come. Good. Good boy. All right, so this was not the smoothest. Uh. Meow, 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 meow. All right, so I was saying that this is not the smoothest start of a ride ever. Um, but I didn't have to get off. It took a while, but I didn't have to get off, which is something which gives me hope that I might be able to end this ride with a neck rope. All right, so we've been walking, chilling, um, except for a couple of breaks where he felt he really needed to stop. Another example. Otherwise, he's very, very good. He's a little bit scared of the trash bags. Yeah, I know. The combinations of like it being kind of misty and trash bags um, waiting to be picked up is very, very scary. Um, to be honest, I totally get it. I'm a little bit scared of the trash bags myself. Except I'm not, and I'm totally making fun of you. So anyways, apart from this, we're just chilling, we're walking through the woods, and then we'll see how that goes. All right, we made it to the woods. He's still very much paying attention to everything, but he's, he's a very good boy, you know? I can't say he's being bad or misbehaving or whatever. He's being very, very good, in fact. Go draft. Boy, watch it, don't step into the deepest. Good, very good. I'm trying to keep my rings like long enough. Try not to depend too much on those if I want to switch to the neck rope. Good boy. And walk. Very, very good. Yeah. Well done, baby. Right here, we're gonna go Asta right on. Good boy, well done. Good job. Now we have to go downhill for this part. I will pick up my reins a little bit just to support him um, up in the front because otherwise he will overstep himself and tumble down to his face. And he feels, I don't know why, but he feels so good like throughout his body today. Like I'm on his back and I feel so secure and I feel like he's feeling secure. I don't really know how to say it. I feel like he's carrying himself so, so well. Good job. So that's something I'm really, really glad about because in the end, that's what we want, you know, a horse that's properly carrying itself, um, feeling balanced and secure and strong. So I'm very, very happy with that. I'm just going to put my whip in between my leg and my saddle. Okay, oh, good boy, I'm going to detach this 
put it around and attach it to this buckle yeah that went smoother than usual when you think about it it's so weird that you're riding an animal that weighs like what six seven times as much as you do sometimes even ten times as much um i mean that's absolutely insane. I think Cajou weighs about seven to eight times as much as I do. Um, I ride other horses that weigh about 10 times um, of what I do. So it's crazy to think that they just allow you to go sit on their back and to take them on adventure and whatnot. So yeah. I mean, every once in a while, it just dawns on me that that's absolutely insane. And <laughs> I just felt like sharing it because y'all need to know how insane this is. So whenever we're having a great ride, I'm like super, super grateful because this is not something that comes naturally or that should come naturally. I'll say it like that. Um, but that makes partnership all the more special, I think. All right, so once we've crossed this road, um, I'm gonna ask him to go for a little canter. Um, just, you know, to see how he is. All right, can you go drop? Good job. And get up. The mud. The mud's kind of deep over here. Good job. Okay, got up. Good boy. Good job. And whoop. Good boy. Well done. And let's walk. Good job. Very, very good. <laughs> that was so good of him. Yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Don't trip and fall like that. My heart. He was just <laughs> chilling, farting, and then he just forgot to lift his left front. All right, so He's super, super good and he reacts to the neck rope amazingly. Um, but I'm gonna keep the left one on just for a second more because I'm not entirely sure about the road we're gonna take. And my uncertainty might influence his reaction to the neck rope. So I'm just gonna keep it on for like five, 10 more minutes and then I can take it off. Once we've passed this like piece of road, I do think, watch out because it seems slippery, okay. I do think that I'm gonna take off his halter because he's being very, very good. Good job. I'm gonna go around it. Good. Thinking, don't forget to lift your feet. There you go. You're so smart. Very good. I'm gonna put my whip in between my saddle and my leg. Uh -oh. Good boy. I'm just gonna. No, baby. Ooh. Thank you. Okay, walk on. And I'm just gonna take this off. Yeah, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. So now I'm just gonna... Maybe I can just... Yep, I got it. Um, this halter, I'm just gonna put it around me. There you go. No, the other way around. 
if you would be able to see me right now, you'd be laughing so bad because I'm struggling like the biggest idiot you've ever seen. Um, there you go. It works. I've got his halter around my waist. Um, that way I don't have to carry it. How smart am I? Pretty smart, I know. Thank you. I think we're going to go for a little trot. Okay. Can you go draft? Good job. Watch the mud. Watch the mud. Good boy. Good job. Right, and when we've crossed the road, we can go for a little canter. Get Adam. He's in the wrong canter, so I'm gonna have to take him back for the corner. Ooh. It's pretty muddy as well, so walk. Good job. Through there. Good. Well done. I'm gonna go back for a canter after this turn because I don't let him canter this because it's pretty muddy. It's also, oh, there's other horses, so no canter, I'm sorry. So it's pretty muddy and it's a pretty sharp turn as well. So just gonna keep walking, I guess. Good boy. Be nice to the other horses, okay? Bonjour, goedag. Goedag. Good, well done. Okay, trot up. Trot. Wait, wait watch. Watch the map. Watch the map. Good boy. Trot up. <laughs> He's like, no, I have to look if there's anything crossing the road. Okay. Okay, trot. All right, and walk. Good job. I'm very sorry, my dear, but I don't have any carrots with me right now but you're gonna get nice juicy apple when we get back home, okay? Yeah, look at where you're going, baby. I bet he's gonna be really nice. Can you poo for a second? Good job. Okay, got him. Job. That was very, very good. Um, okay, we're just crossing, and I bet. Ooh. Babe, where do you want to go? There's nowhere for you to go out there. Go, turn. Turn. There you go. Good job. Well done. You want to go gallop? Watch the mud. Oh, still pretty deep at some points. And 
Good job. And let's walk. Good boy. Alright, so right now we're just gonna be walking for a little bit. And then afterwards there's gonna be some um, more canters. Um, maybe a little trotting in between. But right now we're just walking because the ground right here isn't too great for him with his sensitive little feet. Um, so we're just gonna be chilling. Good boy. Well, step on the good side though, because right now you're literally searching for stones. Good boy. Alright, so I feel like he's gonna wanna start cantering. But he has to wait until we're down the hill because I do not feel like it and because there is a lot of mud at uh, the bottom and I'm very sorry about that accent but I'm listening to a podcast about the French Revolution so yeah my apologies no wait wait till we've passed the mud baby you'll see Okay, but oh, more stones than I expected, so we're just gonna walk and then right there at the top we can go for a canter, okay? Got up. Good job, that was a great transition. Now go walk. walk. Super muddy again. Okay, job. When we've passed this puddle, you can canter again. Yeah, go on. Good boy. Oh, mud, mud, mud. Mud, mud, mud. Good boy. And let's walk. Ooh. Good boy. Uh, I'm so proud of him right now. I know you want to go for a run. We're gonna wait a second till I can see if there's anything there. No, there isn't. Go on. Good job. Go on. Yeah, good boy. Good job, and whoop. Good, well done. 
and walk. Good job, baby. Well done. Good. Yeah. Yeah, have a snack. Well done. A little bit further, the mud is going to be real bad. Oh my god, the sun is starting to shine. Fuck yeah. Don't get onto the sides too much. Don't, 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 don't. Because it's going to be super slippery on the sides. Good boy. Good job. And let's walk again. Let's walk. He was like, you're not letting me go onto the side. Fine, and I'll just run through here. Good boy. Well done. Yeah, I don't have any carrots. I'm very sorry. Let's go. I'm just gonna walk first. Because I know you want to run. We're not gonna run. Not yet. Okay. Okay, Callum. Good boy. Why? Why did you do that? Just push me into the bushes like that. That was very not so kind of you, mister. Good boy. Uh -huh. Nice. Well done. All right. Now I think we're gonna go left. Yep. All right, so I think that I'm gonna end the video right here because we're just gonna be walking home right now and I feel like he's gonna be super chill. <laughs> um, so there shouldn't be too much happening still. So yeah, that was it for today then. I truly hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I know I did. I'm super happy with how this hack went, especially because, um, you know, some of our previous rides haven't been um, as great. So it's just, you know, it's really nice to have a good hack again. Um, and you know, I think he enjoyed it as well. His ears still pricked forward, um, looking around, but still quite relaxed. So yeah, I'm just really, really glad to see this. Um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a little thumbs up down below. You can subscribe if you want to, you know you don't have to, but you would help me out a great deal, so I would very much appreciate that. And that really only leaves me one last thing to say, and that's that I hope I'll see you next time, and bye bye!